In this video, I'm going to review the Filson Mackinac Cruiser Jacket. Alright, let's get started. So I had this jacket for about three months now and uh, I've had the opportunity to uh, do some hunting with it and snowshoeing, did some uh, wood cutting, stuff like that, getting outside and uh, you know down to like minus 40 and even uh, into some like warmer conditions like plus one with uh, you know where it's snowing and wet and pretty nasty and windy and this jacket is held up pretty pretty amazing I'm actually very very uh, I'm very uh, happy that I purchased this jacket uh, the price of this jacket was 495 US dollars and I live in Canada so in Canadian dollars that comes up to about 629 dollars Canadian for this jacket and if you're looking into getting something like this I would definitely suggest that uh, it's I can't really find anything better as far as going out on the land and out in the bush and stuff like that. This jacket is, uh, it just has uh, buttons going down the center of it. There's no zippers, which is pretty good because I've had a few jackets and uh, the zippers go on them. And when the zipper kind of breaks, I don't really know how to repair stuff like that. So I just kind of uh, get rid of it and... Uh, good thing about the buttons is you can just replace them eh? it also has reinforced buttons here on the pockets and uh, if you look inside they actually added some more uh, material so that you can't pull them out and uh, they feel like quality they don't feel cheap like you're gonna break them like when you pull them open and stuff like that in the front pocket here you have it's like for uh, pens and uh, you know like uh, you can put some tools in there if you needed to uh, one of my favorite things about this jacket is on the back is you have this uh, I heard people call it a game pocket or like a map pocket and uh, what I use it for is like when I'm bird hunting I can uh, sometimes just throw a grouse in the back here and it's uh it works pretty pretty decent I I also uh, have some fur mitts and I put those into the back and it works really great for that or uh, even something like a device like a tablet you know you can throw that in the back here it's pretty good and uh, it feels like really good quality when you have something in here and I really really I really really enjoy this back pocket here especially uh, if you don't have like a po uh, pack on you at the moment and it holds up really really nicely I really 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 enjoy this jacket up here in the north northern BC we uh, when you go outside you gotta wear layers and that's what I like about this jacket is like it's not too big that you can't wear it in spring and summer it's not too thick for that so you can you can layer this jacket up pretty nicely. What I use to layer this jacket up is I got a Filson wool vest made out of the same material. And when you wear these two together, it's it's almost 100% windproof. The wind can out get through these. So I would suggest if you were gonna buy a wool a wool sweater, maybe consider getting something to layer underneath it the jacket itself is not lined inside it's just wool and I really enjoy that also because I notice with liners and jackets they always get sweaty they they get moist and uh, that could be pretty deadly when you're out in the wilderness another thing about this jacket is it's crazy quiet it doesn't rub together and make any noises like a lot of those other synthetic materials I see people who go out in the go outdoors and they're wearing stuff like uh, Arcteryx and stuff these really fancy synthetic materials but you can hear it like a long ways away and why that matters is like when you're uh, hunting and stuff and out in the bush you don't want to be 
sounded like George Costanza in that Seinfeld episode. Remember where he wore those track pants under his suit? <laughs> you want to be quiet. So this is super, super quiet. And one thing about this jacket too is it's like super, super cozy. It's like uh, you don't ever think about. You're just you're warm when you're outside. And that's what I really, really enjoy about this jacket. So yeah, it's online, and uh, because it's online, you can, uh, you do feel chafing around like your neck area with the collar. If you don't wear a collared shirt, if you're wearing like just a t-shirt or something, it does rub, and uh, it does kind of uh, get a little irritated around where it contacts the skin, especially when you're like looking around a lot. So... To counteract that, you can just wear a bandana or wear a collared shirt. It does, uh, it is really thick virgin wool, so it, it does have that, like, itchy, scratchy feeling. But I find the only place where that really irritates you is just around the neck where it touches. So consider that when you're buying this kind of jacket. Alright, so my final thoughts on this jacket. I would, uh, definitely consider anybody who goes outside quite a bit you know even like walking your dog every day this jacket is like really you know you hang it by the door and whenever you go out into the outdoors this jacket would suit you perfect for almost every condition rain wet snow you know minus 40 like we get up here and you just layer up if you're going out in even minus 20 degrees celsius this jack will keep you warm but you know you're out there for like half an hour or an hour you will need to layer up right so that's why i would you know get something like a filson vest to wear underneath it i also have the filson wool crushable hat and if you guys want me to do a review on the the hat or the vest just let me know in the comments and i hope i covered everything and uh uh, answered any questions that you guys might be looking for and if not if i missed anything just leave it in the comments and i'll get back to you as fast as i can so thanks for watching uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this channel and i'll see you guys on the trail all right thanks for watching